Now then YouTube, I'm the Toff Man, and welcome back to some more Top for Sheds adventures in Yogg's Craft. Now, unfortunately, I'm still by myself. <laughs> to myself. Um, Shed's still unwell. Of course, I'm doing this recording on the same day, so of course he's still going to be unwell. Um, and today, guys, I want to get into something. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, actually, in the last episode, I managed to make a manual in. Uh, one of these little uh, dirt destroyers with auto repair on it, and I've got auto repair on my hammer. I'm sure I've already told you that. Now, I still haven't put the signs on those things out there, but I have put uh, um, blah, 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 18 more of those receivers, those wireless receivers, on the, uh, the planters. So that's all done. So, in this episode, guys, I want to start something. Because, as you can see on the top right-hand side, I haven't got Voxel Minimap on at the moment. I have the Opus Map on the top right-hand side. You see those red blocks? Those are the problem blocks. Those are the ones that are taking the most chunks, the most time, the most effort out of my client and the server as well. Um, so, right here. Now, it's, it's obvious you know that this is going to be taking quite the amount, guys, because I've got my AE system here. We've got the uh, the power system. We've got the whole reactor. We've got we've got literally everything underneath the floors. We've got all the mass storage on here as well. I think it's about time we alleviated some of this kind of problem. We need to move things into different chunks, into different areas, so we spread the load. We spread the balance, so we're not actually killing ourselves when we come on. It's time to build some of that quantum, uh, the, those quantum thingy-mobs that I told you about. We need to move this. First and foremost, we need to move this. And into the power station, the little area that I've got built for it, we need to move it over there, guys. But, as I said previously, we need somewhere to, to make sure that our uranium, our fuel, our eulorium, is going from here, our base, to over there. And there's, there's different ways of doing it, and I'm sure people have said something in the last episode. But I, I, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this, because I love this. Now, I very much doubt I'm going to get it all done in this episode, because it's going to take some time. And uh, I, I think this episode might span a couple of days anyway, just because of the amount of work that's involved. So, we're going to need, guys, first and foremost, um, what's called an ME condenser. So, let's see one of these things... There it is. Now, I don't know how expensive this thing actually is. Oh, it's not that expensive, actually. I thought it was going to be more expensive than that. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves one of those. We need some Fluix Dust, please, if you wouldn't mind. Just the one will do, but it'll craft three for me, because it's like that. It'll need to grind up the Nether Quartz and the Certus Quartz for me to be able to do this. There we are. There's two Fluix Dust. Just the one will do quite nicely. So this ME condenser is a standalone block. Doesn't require power, doesn't need power. Um, it, however, does require a storage cell in the middle here. At least I think it does. Hmm. I think it does, but I'm not quite sure which type of storage cell it, uh, it needs. I'll be back in a second, guys. Well, guys, as you can see, I think you can use one of those storage segments, but I'm going to go for the next one above, which is the storage block. We're going to encode this because I really can't be bothered to, uh, to craft this. So we're just going to encode it instead. Let's go onto the second page and slip that into its hole right there. So let's go over here, guys, and uh, make sure we get this on craft. Because we can craft those storage blocks. At least I'm sure we can. Yep, we can craft those, so we should be able to craft the storage block. Uh, just one, please, will do quite nicely. Let's see the progress right here. Of course, the storage segments, they're going to require all those bits and bobs. Um, I'm missing a storage segment. Of course I'm missing the storage segment, but it's on Autocraft, is it not? Or is that something totally different that's on... Uh... Ah, it is. We're going to have to put a storage segment in auto crafting as well. Not a problem. Let's go and do that. By going into there. The storage segment, please. And let's slip you into your hole as well. Alright, that should be the only two times I'm going in the, the chamber. So I hope to God that the applied energy stick system doesn't like decide to break on me. Um... Ah, 
Now, as you can see, it's crafting the storage cells, and then it's going to craft a storage segment from that. It's going to take some time, guys, so I will be back when it's done. And we're just coming on to the final part now where we can craft our storage segment just after this has finished getting into there. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, what are you doing, tough man? You need to power both the uh, different areas of this. Don't worry, guys, we'll have plenty of power once I move that. Uh, system. I need to move this first so that I can power the other side of the quantum entanglement thingamabobbins and then this capacitor bank with 90 million RF in will last quite a while I'm sure so while we're setting all that up we can do that and then of course transferring the power from there to here is just going to be a simple case of a tesseract. Ah I've just realized something <laughs> I've just realized we can do it with tesseracts. What an absolute clown. So, okay. Um, why didn't I think of this before? It's the most obvious one ever in the history of Everness. Well, that kind of took a, a turn. Um, and I'm not quite sure whether or not it's worth going towards that anymore. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so we've just wasted about seven minutes of this episode, but don't worry guys, everything is fine. Um, everything is awesome. We've got this stuff anyway later on for when we do want to build a quantum entanglement. Let's just get that storage thing out so I don't use it anywhere else. Uh, let's get the storage block and go and slap it inside here. Brilliant. So we don't have to, you know, mess around later on. What's this? Detect and via... We want to actually change that there to condense into singularities. 256,000 per item. Now, I do, believe, I do believe you need one singularity, one ender pearl dust, and a tiny TNT to get yourself two quantum entangled singularities. But I could be totally wrong there. Anyway, now I've got my derpiness out of the way, it's time to go and craft myself a full tesseract. In fact, two full tesseracts because I feel legendary. Now, it's going to take a while for this uh, stuff to go through. Let me just go ahead and into this room here, into the crafting chambers, that is. This should be accepting in uh, the Tesseract frames once they are made. They actually need to be made first, which you can see the Enderium is now being made, which is fantastic. Oh, man, this is great. This is great. Now, uh, Belgabar says to me about doing the crafting chamber and so on and so forth with the fluid. But, I mean, this works. This works, and... It looks cool. It does indeed, guys. It does indeed. That's the Enderium done. And there is the Tesseract frame. It is getting filled. Now, I do have problems with this every now and then where it just doesn't want to get filled. So, we need two Tesseract frames. I'm hoping that the uh, the, the other bits and bobs are going to land in here at some point soon after this has been created. Will it make one and then the other? It might actually. Oh, there we go. Ah, fantastic. And there we are. We just need to make sure that the Tesseract frame does end up in here. There's two. Just the one more. Come up. And once that's done, I can then start thinking about how I'm going to transport over. Is that getting filled? It is getting filled. Fantastic. We're going to need another chunk loader, guys. Another chunk loader. That's right. Not a chuckle gunk loader, a chunk loader. Oh no, that's right. It won't work. For some reason, my ability to uh, synchro search doesn't actually work at the moment, guys. Chunk loaders. Uh, we need one of them. It shouldn't be too hard to make. There we go. Not too hard at all. So there is a chunk loader done. We can actually spot load. Uh, I think that's just one chunk that you can load. I think so. But either which way, I think we'll want this chunk loader anyway. That's probably full and done by now. So let's go and nab those tesseracts. Brilliant. Two tesseracts, which is fantastic. Now, one of them is going to need to be over at this particular area. And I think... Mm. No, because this isn't actually going to be here. I'm going to take up all of this wire. Um... Where to put you? You know what would be a good idea, actually? Put you around the back. Not in there, then. In here. As you can see, I put, plugged all this back in. Probably, 
If we use my amazing Mark 1 on that, put that back there, put the Tesseract, oh it's a Tesseract frame, it's not actually a Tesseract yet, what are we doing? I think I just made the Tesseract frames, didn't I, instead of actually making the Tesseracts. Tesseract frame, Tesseract frame full. Tesseract. Come on. There we are. Right, we need one of them. I'm sure I have this on Autocraft. I'm pretty goddamn positive. I have that on Autocraft. Oh no, I might not have, you know, actually. And that's not looking there. Because that could be very dangerous indeed. We need uh, Tinker's Alloy Bronze. Which we still don't have on craft. You know what, guys? Let me go ahead and make this Tesseract. I think you guys have seen me derp enough. And I'll be back in a second. Alright, guys. I've got one Tesseract there. And I've got a second Tesseract here. Which is fantastic. Uh, let's get out of there. And go over to there. We're creating some more pulverized tin. Because we needed that to make the Tinker's Alloy Bronze. Um... Alright, so, one Tesseract done. We need to say to send items this way. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work. This is something I haven't tried or tested or done anything with. Uh, let's configure it to item mode, send only. And let's turn both of them off so we're not sending any fluids or any energy through there. Hmm, I wonder if we can send ME energy through there. Be interesting. So, anyways, um, we need ME cable. Would help if I was uh, prepared for this episode. Well, I was I in some ways. I just had the wrong preparations. ME cable. Uh, I don't know if we need proper cable or conduits. Let me just craft some proper cable, guys. We've got like literally none of this. We haven't, by the looks of things. I've got one dark cable. There we are. Right, let's grab some of you and go over to here. Don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it out uh, by putting the other one here, I think. Receive only. Let's turn them two off. Okay, so device one. We'll say Yalorium. To the reactor. Okay. Let's set that frequency. Ooh, that looks cool. So it's not connecting at all. Brilliant. It's just what I always wanted. It's probably going to need some sort of uh, bus on there. Quite possibly. Does an ME and conduit go on there? No, it doesn't. Not an ME conduit either. So it looks as if we may need some sort of bus. Uh, going from one and out of the other. Let's go ahead and connect. Did I save it? Frequency 1. I apparently haven't saved it. Why have I not? I could swear that I've saved it. Disable. Device inactive. All right. Yalorium... To the reactor. Ah, save the freak. Might help. It might actually help if I did that. There we are. Set frequency. So that's good. Uh, that's receiving the items. Let's go back and get ourselves an import and export bus. I'm pretty sure. Ah, well, I've got one on Autocraft. An export bus, precision export bus, or a basic one. I don't know if this is going to work. I seriously don't know if this is going to work or not, guys. Because it's something that I'm just testing off the top of my head. Um, let me give it. Let me give this a quick test and see what I can come up with. See what I can do. And this might work, this might not. Alright, guys. So I've tried and I tried and I tried to make that work with the Tesseracts. It doesn't work. Nevertheless, guys, those two Tesseracts will definitely come in very, very handy when it comes to transporting the power around. So I wouldn't worry too much. I have created them for a reason. I haven't derped that much. Well, I have actually derped once again in this episode, guys. 
Ender chests are the only thing I think that we've got left to actually craft with. So, um, two ender chests should be able to do it. And I think what we're we missing, a chest. A lowly chest, guys, is what we are missing. One chest, please. Thank you very much. And there we go. There's the ender chests. And if we've got any yellow flowers or anything, flower. No? Have we not even got a flower? Have we not got any dye? Oh well. I'm going to have to use lapis. And I'm going to use the blue, blue, blue color on this one. Blah. There we are. Blue, blue, blue. Now this will definitely, hopefully work. <laughs> this will definitely, hopefully work, guys. Ooh, and you can see both of them open there. It's brilliant. Come on. Good stuff. And the one more. So now what I should be able to do... Actually, I've got... Have I got... No, I haven't, apparently. Yellorium. Thank you. Let's pop you back into there. Um, I've also got some blaze seeds on the grow now. And as you can see, if I go inside here, you can see they were where the water one was. So I should really uh, turn, you know, the wireless thing and, and change the name of it and all that stuff, but I'll do that another time. Or I'll just get enough blaze and then put water back there. Who knows? So, let's export bus out of the system right there. Brilliant. That should work to export now Yellorium into there. Oh man, this is legendary. Already, this is going to work and I know it's going to work and I've so got lag and I really don't know why. Ah, God, I need a new computer, I really do. We're better over here, which is really strange, given we're right smack bang in the middle of the worst chunk. Alright, so, now we can put that other one down. You can see Yolorium is still going nicely into there. It should fill up the uh, ender chest and keep it full. And from there, what we'll do on the other side is have an export bus off the side of the chest and into this big reactor which is going to be fantastic and then a whole load of stuff is going to be sorted out um, between episodes between this episode and next episode I need to move this entire setup that we've got here over to the new base over yonder uh, we're going to move that over there and uh, we need to start getting stuff ready for the big big turbine that's going to come up next and hopefully we're going to be moving this capacitor bank at some stage soon as well if we manage to get the next part of my build sorted. That would be fantastic. I know this has been a an episode of which has been all over the place, guys. And that's... I, I, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help being a noob sometimes. It's just within my nature. So, um, Yellorium ingots. They're nicely going down there and stacking themselves in this ender chest. Now, don't worry, guys. You can go ahead and pick up this uh, ender chest. I could pick up the other one. It would make absolutely no difference. Those would still be inside there, those Yellorium ingots. I'm not going to lose them or anything like that, so that's fantastic. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this episode. I know I haven't got a lot done, I'm afraid, but uh, I've got... I, it took me a while. It took me a while to actually figure this out, and I've got no idea what is creating all of this frigging lag. It's really doing my tits in. I really don't know what's going on, guys. Right, look, look. I don't, in here... Right in between these two chunks. Look at it. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I've got, uh, what? Look at look at the amount of tick, man. I'm going to have to do an opus. Right here, I'm going to do an opus. Anyway, I'm going to end that episode there in uh, this amount of lag and see what's going on. Until next time, guys, I've been the Toughman. As always, stay safe.